When you buy a vehicle out of state, you pay the sales tax there. Right, but when a woman tried to register her new van in Massachusetts, the RMV charged her again. Well, then she called the I-Team's call for action, and WBZ chief investigator Cheryl Fiendaka got results. Colleen Finnegan owns the Ride and Groom Mobile Dog Spa. Recently, she decided to buy a new van for her business. They make them out of state. Um, so, so the buying process is a little more complicated. In the past, the Michigan dealership where Colleen buys her vans would register it for her in Massachusetts. This year, with COVID-19, they asked her to do it. I met with my clerk, and he said, you know, you're going to have to pay taxes on this. And I, I was like, oh, well, yeah, because there's a, there's a percentage difference um, within the, between the two states. Uh, so I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. It's 5500 and something dollars. And I was like, all right. I mean, that doesn't sound right. And that's a little alarming. Thinking she owed the money, Colleen paid the tax and contacted the dealership for reimbursement. But the dealership said it paid the tax and the registry owes her a refund. The phone calls got me nowhere. I mean, you can't even be put on hold because they just... Um, they, they just cut the phone call off. They say, you know, it's too busy right now. I sent emails and um, never got any response. After waiting several months, Colleen got in touch with the I-Team. We contacted the registry and it said, after researching the case, determined that a reimbursement is warranted. Within 24 hours of you getting back to us, the RMV called me and said, we overcharged you. We were completely wrong. We're getting a check out now, and yesterday I got my check. The registry also apologized to Colleen for the inconvenience. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBC News. Good work, Cheryl. And do you have an issue that you might need help with? Reach out to the I-Team's call for action. There's the number, 617-787-7070, or email us, WBZ, call for action at cbs.com. Wow, that